we'll set up our collar sleeve guard from here. So from here, you can go with the sleeve or the collar first. Doesn't matter, whatever's available. If he's reaching, the sleeve will be there. If he's generally trying to pass, the collar should be there as well. Okay. Now, very important guys, when you sweep, when you switch from like seated to laying back, you don't want to be too haphazard with your legs here. Okay, so what a lot of people do when they drill or like when they enter here, they're a little too casual and they just bring their legs up. He's got a grip and he's gonna pass. Okay. So I'm gonna recommend that as you guys enter the collar sleeve here, as you drop back, you enter in with a loose lasso on the shoulder to keep him like at bay. Okay, so as I fall back, I'm not going to offer my legs. Instead, I'm going to pummel my foot to his shoulder. Okay? And my other foot is going to go to his far shoulder. All right? Now, the problem with entering into omoplatas is a closed elbow. Okay? A good passer is going to be doing this. Right? So from here, to open up for the omoplata, we're going to move away from the collar sleeve side. So I'm moving to my right hip. Okay? Keep your elbow tight. I'm gonna take this foot off and I'm gonna do a knee pommel. I'm gonna get my knee between the space of his elbow and his knee here, and I'm gonna to start to open my knee. This is also gonna help me break any grip that he might have on my lapel or my belt, okay? Now, from here, guys, take note, I'm punching this hand through. I wanna keep this good 90 degree angle in the arm, okay? As I punch through, okay? If he comes down, we'll do what we did in the last class, we'll pinch our knee. We're gonna assume for right now he's standing though, okay? So if I can't pinch my knee, I'm gonna go heel across the back, okay? Now, from here, I'm gonna to look to pass the right leg, and I'm looking to get a good clamp on his shoulder here, okay? It's gonna be a pretty much a loose triangle. Don't play the omoplata like down here. This is too loose. He's gonna get out super easy. We're not gonna be able to mix sweeps and submissions as well either, okay? So we're always getting a good connection to the shoulder. Now for the sweep, what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna let go of the sleeve, okay? If this arm ever does start to come out, this hand will always be here to push this back into the pocket. Make sure you're crunching to help keep it there as well. Now my free hand's gonna underhook his leg. I'm going ear to the shin, cupping his kneecap. Now I'm just gonna stretch my legs. I'm looking away from him. Now to bring him over me, I'm gonna roll to my stomach, okay? And then from here, we're gonna start to sit up. When you sit up, we want to avoid a reverse close guard situation, okay? So I don't want to come all the way up and offer him something like this. This is annoying. Not the end of the world, but prefer not to be there. Whether you're here, whether you're in mount, you guys always want to be low. So if it's a situation where you can try to throw his legs over, see, nothing happens. Here, go ahead, easy. Okay. So when you land, nice and low, okay? One more time, go here. Here, now I'm gonna knee pommel. Knee pommel, that separates the elbow. That's gonna be our entry for the little pot. Okay. Here, underhook, stretch. Okay. So that rule, guys, it's like a log roll. It's like that dumb hiking challenge from when you guys were like 12. When I was like 25. Right. Here. And then here. Make sense? First. Again, I want to see you guys doing a better job of making the wrist go this way. As early as here and as late as here. Okay? You guys are letting this arm straighten too much. And if he can fully come in and retract his elbow, okay, he doesn't even need to fully retract his elbow, but he will get out of this. Okay. The second thing, okay, I just saw this a lot. Ulysses is going to drop to his knees and he's going to throw my hips this way. You guys gotta fight to get back over here, right? So, let's go to closed guard. The philosophy you wanna follow here is like a closed guard arm bar, okay? And I'll, this does share a lot of details with that. So when you guys do a basic closed guard arm bar, typically you want your feet going this way, right? Like posture up, okay? Come back up, please. Now let's look at if my feet go this way. How about now? The same thing happens. Take this arm off, please. All right. So now let's look at it in an omoplata. Guys, the biting leg needs to be going in this direction. Okay, throw my hips the other way. We talked about this in the basics class, okay? Especially if he's on his knees and you want to do the actual submission. 
you should start thinking about coming here to really tip your shoulder. Okay? If you're here too much, the legs are here too much, come up now. Yeah, that's when that happens. So everything should generally be going this way. Does that make sense? All right, cool. So that's stuff you're going to fix as you keep drilling this entry. Okay. Guys, regardless of where you are, this back leg here, the leg that has contact, is very important. Look at my hips. They're on the ground. If I lock an omoplata here, yeah, this is very loose. He could potentially just like pull his elbow out of this. Yeah. We don't want to do this. Watch the primary leg here. Stretch, clamp, engage. Now I'm attached to his shoulder. I know I want to bring him this way with the sweep. There's a defense for an omoplata where people do a sit out. So he's going to sit to his left hip here. That's right. So in some cases, if he's not fully committed to his hip, I can just continue to pull him over, okay? I'm gonna assume though Ulysses is really resisting in that direction, okay? I wanna bring him this way, he's like, no, you're coming this way, okay? So from here, what we can look to do is basically a hip up sweep from here, like you would do in close guard, okay? Um, again, the example I've been throwing out all week is Marigali versus Munis at Pans last year, and he used this sweep on Munis to uh, score points in so from here, what we want to do essentially, there's shorter ways to do this, but I want you guys to do it this way for the full range of motion. You're going to start to sit up, and just like the basics class, when I sit up, my rib cage is helping pinch his wrist and my hip. Okay? So I don't want to do this to loose straighten your arm, bring your arm across. That's a big problem with all the plots. Okay, go back. How about now? See, I'm really tight to this arm here. Okay. Now when I'm ready, that downward crunch with the heels again, that's the hip engagement. Okay? Now I'm keeping the hand that's by his legs on the mat. I'm gonna raise my left hand just like a hip bump sweep. And that's gonna carry me back to the same position. Okay. Alright. So I hit the sweep, but he's leaning this way. Can't roll him over. Okay? Hard to get the submission here sometimes too. So from here, I can start thinking about ditching the leg. I can always go back to it too, if he gets back up, okay? Here, almost like you're doing a crab walk, okay? Left arm, like you're doing a hip walk sweep. And then you can just float over. And then remember, watch out for the leg, stay low. Make sense? Here, curl, over the top. And then we'll land in the same position. Make sure as you're doing this, you're always curling this primary heel. So his elbow doesn't come out. As soon as I am throwing this, pull your elbow up. Okay. Pull your elbow up. And then this one will cover. Uh, he's going to go to like a false north south. So all he's going to do is step this leg over. Right. Now he's heavy on top of me. He is going the way I want, but now his weight's evenly distributed again. And if I just like go to keep rotating, there's no way. He's too heavy. All right. Guys, make sure again. We are going to start freeing up our hands. So when you start freeing up, make sure you're not getting too loose to this arm. Like start to straighten your arm. Right. Okay. You need to, you're going to take the hand that's around the leg and you're always going to push the wrist in and hold onto the elbow if you need to. Especially if you do elbow platas and nogi. Again, you should think about controlling the elbow. All right. Now I'm primarily going to be using my other arm to engage the sweep here. So I need like a, almost like a hydraulic motion, like a, you're jacking up a car to change a tire, right? So that motion is gonna be bringing my feet underneath of me, wiping my elbow over my head, and coming up to my elbow, okay? Uh, get heavy again. Okay, this is still not enough. Now watch, watch my feet. It's gonna be like a sideways crunch. And that'll return him back to the mat. Okay, this is good, this is important, but. Guys, your upper body is not going to be enough to move that weight. Focus on your toes. Active toes on the mat. We always talk about this. Does that make sense? So, again, this hand is a monitoring hand. Okay? I'm going to recommend, it feels like, you know, somebody's going to want to turn on me or something here. Doubtful. I still have control of the other Okay? So I'm going to recommend that you do not let go of this weight. Because now it's like three again. Like he was just jump all the way to the other side. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna have issues there. So for now, just keep a hold of this leg. 
You're just going to be close to this elbow too, which is again important for keeping the elbow plot. Right? Okay. Straight, straight arm. It's going to help you build base here, almost like you're doing a Turkish heel. Right? That's what I mean. No, that's what it's like. Feet in, toes on the ground, and I'm bumping my hip through, and that's what's making it way faster. So we're going to look at if Ulysses takes this knee and he puts a knee on belly. Okay. So he could be up on his foot or he could be down on his knee. It doesn't matter. Like, I'm going to approach this the same way. So, like, what's our first in instinct when somebody knee on bellies us? It's just to push the knee. But, like, look, nothing's happening. I'm extending my legs. I'm kind of hip escaping here. It's not working. Okay. So, really, what I want to do is I want to get an extension here of his upper body and his lower body. So I'm not going to push the knee. I'm actually either going to grab his pants here, okay? Or if it's nogi, I can just make a C grip on his ankle, okay? Now to just release the knee on belly, all I'm going to do is stretch my legs and lock out my elbow at the same time. And then I can look to catch the leg again. Thanks. Look, just remember, usually the boring stuff gets you guys way better at jiu -jitsu. Okay. So here, can't really sit. Either gonna go here or here. Okay. Stretching the lock and stretching his post. Okay. And then from here, a lot of times we catch that underhook again. And continue going this week. Alright, so let's say I did what I've been talking about all class. I mess up, I sit up too high, he has long legs, and he throws me into what we call a reverse post or it's a donkey. So, it's frustrating. It's not the end of the world. Like, uh, look at his elbow, guys. I still have good control in this position. I try to pull your arm out again. Like, kick me away, too. As long as I'm curling my heels to my butt, I still have decent control. But we got another weird stalemate here. I need to get the feet separated. That's obvious. Okay? So, right away, you're going to push down, do stuff like that. But that connection is too strong. Simply put, we need to get as close to his feet as possible, okay? So, people actually use this to break clothes hard sometimes. You're gonna take both hands, and you're gonna pummel in as close to the ankle as possible, okay? Uh, keep your legs tight, and now from here, you're just gonna sit on the break legs, okay? Now, I don't wanna end up back there again, right? So we're gonna go to the thumb posts, right above the quads. So if Ulysses throws his legs up again, okay, this is how like you don't get there in the first place. Okay, but afterwards you definitely want to go back to this. Return to the mat. Once he calms down, now we can get on the attack again. Okay. Sometimes like this will work, but look at how like tight my elbows are. Like curl your heels really tight. I can't straighten my elbows. Okay. That's why I really prefer to start to pummel my hands in. Because, like, look, now I have straight arms. Okay, curl your heels now. Straight arms are way stronger, locked out elbows than this. Right. Now from here, we can start to attack. Some people get a little nervous here. They start loosening up, and arms start coming out. Okay. This is actually a big trend of no gear right now. A lot of people are hitting leg locks from here. So this is. Don't underestimate this position, okay? So, if I do get here, I do get the legs separated, but I don't have the elbow anymore, okay? Uh, it's gonna be really hard to go back this way. So, a lot of you might have done this during warm-ups, especially for garden passing. You can do a drill where he throws his leg over. Here. And we can just cut around and take side control, okay? So, we, we already gathered that even if I am able to get my legs around him, like even if I extend really hard, I, if he's doing a good job here of controlling my shoulder and my elbow, I can't get this out, okay? So I'm gonna kind of give you guys the cheat code. Don't really do this a lot, but the defense for this is here. If it's gi, I'll make some sort of sleeve grip. If it's no gi, I can just grab his wrist. I'm gonna put a spider guard hook of my own in his armpit and I'm just gonna extend. Hold on to my elbow and my shoulder the best you can. We'll start looking at looking for attacks from here. Okay. So 
just a little preview, okay? And we can roll through back to the Oma Plata or Ronnie's very good at that, okay? Um, I personally am a huge fan of staying on top here and looking for fat step submissions, okay? So we have enough time tomorrow. I'll show you guys some of this, but from here, that's gonna look like this. Getting on top of the chest here, pummeling the foot over. And we have things like mono plotas here, it's a shoulder lock, okay? If we end up going to the ground or he straightens his arm, this is my absolute favorite. We have what we call a spiral arm or a shotgun arm right here. It's very tight. Okay, we're gonna start with a cross grip on the sleeve. Okay, he's gonna stand up. As he stands up, we're gonna underhook the leg, bring our ear tight to the ankle, and we're gonna trade the sleeve to the leg that's underhooking. And then the free hand is gonna make a cross collar grip. So essentially we have a cross, uh, a, a collar sleeve guard with an underhook on the leg. Very strong position. Really hard for him to get out of this grip, okay? Now from here, we're gonna to transfer to the omoplata sleeve. So from here, I'm gonna climb my legs up so I have a good connection to his torso here, really biting with this heel to keep my hips engaged. I'm gonna to start to bring my right leg around. I'm gonna connect here. Now I'm going to start to look to the side, turn my hips to the side, roll belly down. I'm really curling my heels as I come up here, okay? I want to have good control of the shoulder and I want to make sure this elbow is shelved up. As I'm coming up, I am going to control this elbow with either hand, posting on the mat. Now really important, we're going to talk about this later in class. Try to avoid coming up too much because he's going to throw his legs around a lot of times, okay? going to put a split, what we call a reverse close guard or like a donkey guard. This happens to people a lot from mount too. Like you're sitting on somebody in mount, they throw their legs over around your waist like those long lead guys and they just turn them over. So really the, the easy solution for all of that in any position is just to stay a little bit lower with your head. Throw your legs over now. Yeah, see, the more I come up, the more slack I give him to actually, yeah, wrap his legs around if that makes sense. Okay. One more time. Right, so we got a cross grip on the sleeve. He stands up. Under hooking the leg, trading the sleeve. Got a collar sleeve guard with an underhook on the leg. Walking the legs up, hips tight to the chest. I'm bringing this leg around, crossing. And when we start turning those legs to the side, the sweep is occurring because that's putting a ton of pressure on the shoulder. So we're really attacking the shoulder when we do this. Omoplata submission, you're trying to break the shoulder. Omoplata sweep, you're trying to drop the shoulder, okay? It's all about the shoulder, okay? Always need the elbow past the knees to have the omoplata position, okay? Can't let this happen. So make sure you're curling your heel into the shoulder. You're bringing your knee around so that the elbow stays in front. Only up this high right now because I'm talking, but guys, when you do this, keep your head low. 